average he was fourth in the conference he was averaging 254 yards a game uh that's pretty good yeah that is pretty good um florida uh of course had played umass kentucky and north texas uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> not a great, not a great uh, defensive uh, yeah. lineup there. Right. But uh, Austin Appleby will be the quarterback. He is a graduate transfer from Purdue. So he has the transfer from Purdue mantra in common with the LSU quarterback. Yeah, Danny Etling. Both of them transferred from Purdue. Yeah. Uh, Purdue must have Drew Brees Jr. up there. I mean, they must have a lot of quarterbacks that go to kidding. Purdue. It's kind of like Purdue's Alabama. Purdue's always been known for quarterbacks, though. Yeah, it's true. It's kind of like Alabama. You know, Alabama's got how many guys starting around the country? Yeah. Former Alabama quarterbacks? Uh, several. Of them. Yeah. yeah. Alec Morris and uh, Philip Sims. And not Philip Sims. Uh, um, is it Phil- Philip Sims? Is it Philip Sims? If he's still, is he still there? Is I don't still, think he's still there. No, he's done. No, he's he's done. Karen. Yeah. yeah he's but done. he did start yeah. some. Uh, yeah. Played some it was a guy, Virginia. Toledo. Um. I can't remember his yeah, name. I can't but remember he, all of them. They, he beat uh, Arkansas last year in the first game. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that was, that's um, – I can't remember the kid's name. Somebody will call in and help us with that. But uh, Charlie, big week tomorrow. We're at Burger King for Throwdown Thursday on the Atlanta Highway. We invite everybody to come out and spend a fun football Thursday with us. Then on Football Friday, uh, we are also out and about. And I'm drawing a blank where – uh, Blue Ox Outfitters. There we go. Our buddy Jonathan Woodard and you get Woodward and the gang up there and get loaded up. up for all of the truck accessories. That's going to be fun. We're excited about being up at Blue Ox. So Burger King tomorrow, Blue Ox Friday. We'll have food for you. Uh, obviously Burger King, uh, great menu there, at Burger King, and then we'll probably have some pizza and stuff for you at Blue Ox on Friday. Sounds like a winner. Certainly does. Yeah. Uh, last minute, if indeed you are wanting. To win the contest, because if you tie with somebody that gets a pick in before you, you're not going to win. You get about a fifty to sixty dollar prize pack for winning the weekly contest. More importantly, you get your name in the hat for to pick the games, uh, to pick the national championship game, the college football playoff national championship game. And uh, the only way you get in that one to win the $2,500 prize pack is to win a weekly contest, Charlie. So what are the rules on how you enter a weekly contest? Yeah, you can enter it by calling in uh, at 517-1210. You can enter it by texting uh, in the Little Caesars Dalrada Commons text box. That's 334 334- 313-1170, or you can enter by emailing your pick in to um, the Blue Ox Outfitters email inbox, and that is Doug and Charlie at WTXKTheTicket.com. Absolutely. Going to be fun. And, uh, Charlie, before we get to the phones... <laughs> Sad observation, folks. I'm telling you, it's a sad, sad observation. 
observation, but it's an observation that I don't think I'm alone in making. It seems like it seems like rioting is almost expected now. When there is a cop shooting. A cop shooting period. Don't care about the details. It, it, it seems like it's now axiomatic that there's going to be rioting or massive public protests or threats of rioting or threats of unrest every time the cops have to draw their weapons. Now stop and think about this. Where, where are we here? We're in the United States of America. We are in the second term of the presidency of the first African-American president ever elected so in this country. A former community organizer, agitator, organizer, same thing, who promised and assured us via hope and change that none of this would survive his presidency. This kind of thing was destined for the ash heap. We weren't going to have these kinds of divisive squabbles any longer. Because the election of the first African-American president would finally mean that we had matured. And that we had seen the error of our sinful past. The election of the first African-American president, not just that act, but the man himself with his promises and his assurances. It was going to unify us. The country was going to be 